What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're going to try and take down the Necro Giant in Call of Dragons. Make sure that you subscribe for more content, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out, like the video, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to defeat this creature. By the way, this is my second channel. I upload extra content like this one over here. If you want more Call of Dragons video, make sure you check out my main channel. The link will be in the description section down below. The battle has begun. Let's see how we're gonna take down this Necro Giant. Now there is a special fighting mechanism of the Necro Giant. The Necro Giant can only be damaged by physical units like archers, infantry and cavalry. The Giant on the other hand can only be damaged by magic units. As you can see here, our guys have set themselves up properly. We have the magic units going after the Giant and we have the physical units going after the Necro. Here comes the special attack of the Necro Giant. This one is called the Malevolence. It's the one that deals so much damage and it can take out so many players. As soon as you see this type of special attack, you should go to the other end of the arena and then see the patterns from there. If you are on the other end, you can dodge it properly. You can see all the incoming attack patterns and try to stay away from it. So far so good. It looks like we have lost only one player. Let's see how this is gonna go down. Okay, the malevolence is complete. Now everybody is back in action. Again, make sure you hit the right target. All the physical units go after the necro, while all the magic units go after the giant. You should try not to let these two giants gain synergy, meaning if they come close to each other, they are gonna get bigger and stronger. Try to separate them. You can see at the top, who has been targeted. If that's you, move away, drag the creature away. There is a stone over here, people need to pick it up. Unfortunately, the dark fire has shown up. Everybody has to go to the circle to avoid taking continuous damage. As you can see here, they have left the stones, which was the best thing to do. Now, once the dark fire is complete, everybody is gonna go for the stones and heal themselves. The tanks are gonna distract the two giants while everybody else goes to get the healing stone. The dark fire is pretty much straightforward. You can easily dodge it. All you have to do is go to the circle and you are safe. It is over. So many players are going for the stones, which is the best decision right now. Everybody who is near the stone is gonna get healed. They're gonna get stronger. Our tank is using the taunt trying to drag the necro giant away from everybody. It can do some crazy area of effect attack. So far so good. We have majority archers, which is the best thing you guys can do. Try to come with more than 35 archers and then have like maybe 8 magic units to distract the other giant. These two creatures share the same health. Therefore, it will be easy to take them down if you focus on the Necro Giant. Here comes another Dark Fire. You can dodge it by going to the circle. Save yourself. Don't be in the purple zone. Otherwise, you're gonna take continuous damage and eventually kick the bucket. It looks like we are damaging the Necro Giant in this state. The rules say that they become invulnerable. This is a glitch. In the future, it will be fixed. By the way, this is season one plus and this is the Avengers Alliance. Like I said before, this is my second channel where I upload extra content like this. You can subscribe here and you can also subscribe to my main channel if you wanna check it out. My main channel has a lot more Call of Dragons videos. Over here, I just upload extra content. Leave some comments down below. Now the special attack is complete. Everybody is targeting the right giant. All the physical units go after the necro and all the magic units go after the giant. Here comes the haunting of ill intent. A bunch of different balls are gonna be launched towards you. This is the right time to use your freezing ring if you have one. Some players like to hide in the corner. I don't know if that works. You can try it out. But from the looks of it, it is working. If you stay in the middle, you take a lot more damage. 
Therefore, you have to be very careful. The haunting of ill intent is one of the most difficult one to dodge after the malevolence. The others are just pretty much straightforward. So let's see how this thing is gonna go down right now. Are they gonna win it? I see someone taunting the giant. That's some good stuff. Bring your infantry troops with the taunt artifacts to move them away. They can tank it while the others destroy. Look at all those shadow blades. It is one of the most dangerous artifacts in the game. It can do some crazy damage. Combine that with the damage output of the archers. It will be bad news for any enemy. Here we go, another dark fire. By the way, these special attacks show up at random. If you are lucky, you might never even see the malevolence. Let's see if that's gonna work out for us. It looks like we have 43 out of 50 players still available. This is gonna be some good stuff. Let's see how it's gonna go down. Now we have a stone over there. Nobody has gone for it. Good decision. It is in a bad place. Okay, here we go. Somebody has taunted the necro giant. Drag it away from everybody while everyone else collect the stone. Heal yourself. Come back and do some damage. The best strategy, bring more than 35 archers, focus the necro giant. Just have a few magic units distract the other giants and you guys are gonna win pretty fast. Our tanks are still strong. They are doing their due diligence. Let's see how this is gonna go down. The Avengers Alliance in Season 1 Plus. Here we go, another dark fire. Some players are taking continuous damage. They were in very bad spots. Now everybody's in the circle. Everyone protected. The giant are taking damage when they shouldn't. This is a glitch that will be fixed in the future. Now let's see how this is gonna go down. We have about 500,000 HP left. Just wait and see the damage output of the archers when this dark fire finishes. I think everybody is ready to use their shadow blade. Let's see how that's gonna go. Someone has taunted the giant, drag him away. Here comes the shadow games, reign of shadow games. Yep, the giant is going down fast. Just look at how the health point is dropping. Archers are just too much for behemoth. When behemoths see archers, they start shaking. They want to cry. Here we go again. Haunting of ill intents. I don't think we're going to see the barrier of withering over here. It's another special attack that never showed up. Basically, it's the one with the beam. All you have to do is try to avoid the beam. If you walk with the beam, you take continuous damage. If it, if it catches you, let it go forward and walk behind it. This one is the haunting of ill intent. Some players like to stay in the corner. I think it works. You just have to be careful. If you stay in the middle, you will take a lot of damage. Now this is complete. I think this is pretty much it. We're gonna destroy the giant right now. Archers are doing the most damage. And just like that, the Necro Giant and the Giant has been destroyed. This is the Avengers Alliance in Season 1 Plus. And that is how you take down the Necro Giant in Call of Dragons. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If, so st if you're still new here, make sure you subscribe for more content. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out. Until then, we shall meet again in the next one. Peace out.